What is going on guys? DBG here and today we are going to be going over all of the new cards here. We're going to be going over all of the new Halloween cards, masked versus unmasked cards. So let's see, is the only difference blinders on these and one of them has a mask? So the card art's not here yet, we'll see it all a little bit later. Yeah. That's the only difference. Okay, the only difference is blinders. Only if it's blindness. I'll look at all the masked ones because we can see what level blinders they get. As you hear all these gold. They're all gold blinders. Okay, basically the same cards except one of them as gold blinders. They all have gold blinders. So, Elgowskis. Then we're going to take a look at Harrison Barnes mast, Henry Barton mast, Rose, Russell Westbrook. Um, LeBron James, Chris Paul, Jet Terry, Master Ward, Rip Hamilton, Master Ward, Kevin Durant, whatever. I've actually just realized that I've kind of screwed up all this. So, um, yeah, let's just first go over to Julian Sogaiuskas. 70 on three ball, 44 speed. Dude, seven foot three. I mean, I mean, this guy. I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna have to say, this guy's actually decent. He's actually fun. He's actually gonna be fun, and he's a giant. He's seven foot three with seven six wingspan, and he can shoot. This is my cent sapphire center of choice for limited. This really is should be the sapphire center of choice for limited. Okay, then we got Kenny Martin. Kenny Martin is chick man though. Sixty four speeds. Why does? Oh, sorry, no. Why? No, it's Kenyon Martin. Oh, I thought it was Kevin Martin. Oh, I'm I'm dumb. 79 lateral, 85 driving. He's at 20 golds. I mean, is he better than his other card? I mean, he's basically got the same. He's got very similar stats and badges wise, he's way better. He's way better than his um his amethyst, which is a good sign. He's got not great speed, but he's actually decent in the post. Dunk some people. He's not a bad sapphire. He's not a bad. Is he still the set? Yeah, he's still set shot seven. He's not a terrible sapphire. Um, then we have got Harrison Barnes. His release is woeful, though. 82 speed, 75 lateral, 85 driving, 83 three ball. He can get every badge in the game, I mean. Pretty much. Not the greatest lateral. His release is pretty bad. Yeah, Harrison Barnes is not really up to much. Harrison Barnes is not... Um, he's not up to much. As far as cards go, he's just... He's just kind of meh. He does his job. He's not like... Ain't spectacular, but he's also not a bad sapphire if you want to use him. Like he's a lot better than the other sapphire. Um, the well, the sapphire to ruby reward, and again, he's not a ruby. The no rewards is very disappointing. I will say that. So Russell Westbrook, sixty-three ball. He's still got ninety-three speed. Go quick first step. If he had like a seventy-three ball, this car would be brilliant. Like this car would be genuinely brilliant. I mean, he's Westbrook. He's the other Westbrook without the jump shot. He's still going to dunk on people. He's still got Silver Dimer. Clamps, Intimidator, Pick Dodger. He's not terrible. He's not great either. Like, if you want a rim-running Ruby point guard, especially for limited, he's actually okay. Like, I'm going to buy him anyway. He doesn't look bad at all. So you get Derrick Rose and LeBron James. So, D-Rose. 73 three ball. 78 laterals. 85 driving dunk. Go quick first step. <laughs> it's the same card. <laughs> I don't care. This is, the, this is the same card. Rose, this is the same as the Diamond. What's the difference? Half quick first step. Like, uh, that's the difference. He's got more go goals as half badges. Wow, a bunch of passing update stats. A plus 70 in block, which doesn't matter. Draw fell doesn't matter. Driving dunk 85 to 90. Same difference. They both get contacts. Like, the only real difference is a half quick first step and half downhill. Like, you are not, like, and the average player is not going to notice the difference. The average player does not is not going to notice the difference between these two Derrick Rose cards. So people are saying Karadad is up. It is kind of up. Dolph Shays? Interesting. But um, the average player will not notice the difference here with Derrick Rose and Derrick Rose. Really good. He's re like he's unbelievable. LeBron James, 88 speed, 75 three-pointer, 83 lateral, 80 driving dunk. 79 ball handle. 
quite behind the back, man. We're looking at Darius Moss 2.0, man. We are looking at Darius Moss 2.0. He's got... Can he get catch and shoot? He can't get catch and shoot. He's like slightly worse Darius Moss. 83 lateral LeBron dunk animations. Like, LeBron... LeBron and D-Rose are going to be just limited demons for the whole year. I like the card art. The card art's really growing on me. The card art is really growing on me. I can't lie. It is really, really growing on me. Um, Is the set called Halloween? Or is it called... Kenny, did you just make it that way? Is that what it's called in-game? Um, LeBron's really good, and so is um, Derrick Rose. Master of Master, the same card. Bill Lambier. I, I made a weird prediction. This guy was going to be like one of the best one of the best centers in the game. 70 speed, 85 three ball, 82 block, 75 lateral. He gets silver clamps. Half set shooter. Give him one. Oh, if the game is released on quick, I probably would use this guy. I probably would use this guy, honestly. Um, He's not, he's not horrific. He's not good either. Like, he's not good. He's not unusably bad, though. Like, he's genuinely not unusably bad. Kyrie Irving. 32 and one half. So, he's actually better than... He's literally just better. He's gold chef, diamond Kyrie. Like, they both have the same lateral. Wrong Kyrie. Oh, maybe not. Plus 16 pass perception. Plus 29 post moves. Plus 35 post They're the same card. They're the same card. Except you got half acrobat. And you get blinders. They're the same card. They are literally the same card. So if you didn't get the tokens for Kyrie, you can get the same card. Please tell me it's the same as the Diamond CP3. Same Hall of Fame badges. Same badges as the Diamond CP3. Let's go. 86 three ball. 80 thing lateral is the same card. Let's go. Let's go. I really like that CP3. It's Halloween in the auction house too, is it? So, let's take a look. Well, I, I have a ball drop right now. I will just spam here. It says Halloween in the auction house. No, there are no event cards, apparently. There are no event cards, apparently. But, um... CP3, literally, literally the exact same as his diamond. Chris Paul. There are 19 difference in total stats. And the ex one extra half badge. You get half mismatch. You know what? Half mismatch helps. The event cards are probably new ball rewards. Yeah, I, I'm kind of, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Um. Okay, I just want to see is Halloween in the auction house. So search auctions. Theme. Halloween. Yeah, they're Halloween theme. They are Halloween in the auction house. Um. Cards say alter ego, but they're Halloween the auction house. Um, now we're on to Andre Kurlenko. So he's a 92. He's going to be packed so much. He's a 92 diamond. Andre Kurlenko, Alonso, and Jet Terry. The card that I'm most excited for are Jet, but they could do, make juice of Alonso. 88 speed, 88 acceleration, 94 lateral, 83 ball. Not a good driving dunk. Goal post spin technician. Half clams, half pogo, half tireless defender. Uh, interceptor on gold. Hustler that you can upgrade. You kind of need to update to collect the Hustler. 83 rebounding, 90 steel, 90 block, 86 ball handle. I mean, with that base 29 and those shooting badges off rip and you can give him sniper. I mean, he's going to be... And he's 6'9 as well. He's probably the best power forward in the game. He's not going to be like as good dribbling wise as Paul Silas, but he's taller and he shoots the ball better. So I think he's going to be very, very comparable. I'm not going to say he's objectively going to be better, but he's, uh, he's going to be so good, man. He's going to be so good. This card is like a... People are like he's not as good as AK last year. Yeah, well, AK last year came out on the 18th of December. This card's obviously not going to be as good. But him being a 92 overall diamond means we have means we have potential to see a better diamond AK-47 sometime during the year. They really did Alonso dirty, didn't they? They really did Alonso morning dirty. Like rim protector, post move, lockdown, po uh, pogo stick, intimidator, hustler. They really did this card dirty. He's a not fast inside center. He sucks. Man, I thought they were going to juice up his speed. He sucks. Jet Terry. 
Now, lads. Now, lads. This card has something about him. 87 lateral. Silver and upgradable limitless spot up. Silver and upgradable chef. Half quick first step, half clutch shooter, half mismatch expert. Base 22, quick dribble stock, Kawhi Leonard behind the back. Uh, grazing the pressure, unstrippable. 95 speed, 95 salary, 93 three ball. We are probably looking at budget Steph Curry. We are looking at budget Steph Curry right here. People are saying he has no clamps. You can apply clamps to him. He's got he's an inch shorter than Steph with a longer wingspan. We are looking at budget Steph right here. He probably he doesn't move quite as well with the basic combo and uh, the normal size up. I will say he doesn't move quite as well, but he's literally he's just Steph. He's just budget Steph. If you like Steph, you're gonna love you're gonna love this card. Well, if you want to use a Steph type card and you can't afford him, Jason Terry is the card for you. Like, he's really really good. Like when we're looking at these like top tier cards, he is really good. So. Now we are, we're through all of these cards right here. Now we are on to Dolph Shays. Everyone's talking about Dolph Shays. Dolph Shays this, Dolph Shays that. That's all I can hear in my chat right now. Dolph Shays this, Dolph Shays that. And then Rip Hamilton. And we're going to go over all of these and see are they worth locking in. So, Dolph Shays. 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 89 three ball, 92 mid, 85. Does this dude do anything bad? I mean, just boost his perimeter issue. Off rebound chaser can get clamps. Kind of reminds me of Gus Gerard. Kind of reminds me of Gus. So like sniper, catch and shoot. Comes with goal limitless spot up. Goal limitless takeoff and 85 dunk. 89 lateral, 80 steel, 80 block. 6871 ring span. He really reminds me of Gus Gerard. Base 38 on quick is interesting. With the Kemba Walk. He only gets big dribble stop. The Kemba Walker signature combo. That's very interesting. Base 38 on quick. I mean, Dolph Shays is, is... He's this... If people are calling him Dolph Ferry. Yeah, he's going to be this year's Danny Ferry. He's very good. Dear Lord, he's very good. He gets ridiculous dunks as well. Take off... Limitless take off and half grace under pressure. Gets limit spot up. Can get every badge in the game. I mean, you give him like pickpocket, menace, interceptor... He can play center. He can play center if you need him to. Uh, he can shoot. He can play. He's one of the best power forwards in the game. And if you really want to run a small ball center, I mean, Dolph can play there. He's insane. Man, he's insanely, insanely good. And he can get every bad. What well, badges can't? He can't get mouse in the house. Unpluckable. High on triple tattoo. Triple tattoo. Like, again. Unpluckable, it matters. Like, unpluckable matters, not for a power forward and center. Kevin Durant. I'm pretty sure it's a Photoshop picture of Kevin Durant. 90 speed, 90 set 93 three ball, 87 lateral, 85 driving dunk, 83 post hook, half sniper, half stop and pop, half volume shooter, half limitless spot up, silver clamps can get pretty much every defensive badge, 79 steal. He's got Kevin Durant on normal, which is really good this year. Shifty. He's also got the pro three behind the back. I'm sorry. This card's unbelievable. Forget Dolph. Forget Dolph. This is the, this is the best card that's out today. Six nine seven four wingspan. He's gonna be so expensive, but he's the best. Like he is most definitely the best. Like quick chain hyper drive. He's got a lot of really good badges. Did I wait? Dolph? Did I say Dolph Ziggler? Dolph Shays. Dolph Shays. Someone just said Dolph Ziggler in my chat. If I did call him that, I do apologize. Dolph Shays. Um, but Kevin Durant's better. Kevin Durant is better. He, Kevin Durant's the best guy in the game. I know he's only 6'9 instead of 6'10. Look, that might get updated. He's the best guy in the game. Including Carmelo. He's, he's better than Mel. I look, I'll, I'll admit it. He's better than Mel. Then Rip Hamilton. Base 40 on normal with bad dribbling. Dude is a sniper though. Half sniper. Why didn't they just give him half range? Why didn't they just give him half range? Like chase down at his hustler interceptor off up has pick dodger pogo tires defender. He's got silver clamps. I mean, he's not as good as Durant. He's fine. I don't get me wrong. He's fine. If you are like 
if you have... I mean, he has no range, but you can just give it to him. Um, If you have infinite MT... If you have infinite MT... Kevin... Or not Kevin Durant. Rip Hamilton's fine, but KD's going to be at least 400k. Dolph Shays is going to be at least 150k. Uh, AK is going to be at least 70k. Alonzo Mourning is going to be borderline discard value. Jason Terry is going to be about 30k. Kyrie Irving, these guys are going to be like 6 to 7k. But um, yeah, so like you are going to be spending... You are going to be spending to lock in for Rip Hamilton's. Either Rip Hamilton. They're both the same. Like, blinders is blinders. To lock in for either Rip Hamilton, you are spending well over the million MT. And Rip Hamilton is not worth a million MT. I'm just saying it right now. He's not I, He's not even as good as Kobe. Like, Kobe's better than Rip Hamilton. And, like, Kobe is under 100k. I get it, he's a half sniper, but he do can't move. He's a cone. Don't play that much for a cone. So, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is... They are the squad. So now let's go over these cards. And we're going to see. We're going to see. Um, I'm going to go which ones are worth it. Rip Hamilton. Thumbs down. Not worth it. Kevin Durant. If you have unlimited MT. Worth it. If you don't. Not the end of the world. Dolph Shays. The exact same applies. If you can afford him. He is the best currently at what he does. If not. It's the best. Do I advise anyone to buy these cards? No. But just get your MT up. As the year goes on, then you can afford the best guys at the end because somebody is going to be better than these cards very soon. And once Super Packs come out, I wouldn't be surprised to see Dolph under 100. And um, then we have got Jet Terry. Jet Terry is very solid. A bit like Steph Curry. If he's under 40, if he's under 40k, he could be a really good point guard if he suits your style. Um, Alonzo Mourning, garbage man. Um, AK47, if he's around the 50k MT mark, he's one of the better value power forwards in the game. He's really good, especially if you don't have a Paul Silas. He's very, very similar in-game. Kyrie Irving, if you did not get uh, Kyrie Irving's token reward, same card. Chris Paul, really good. Like, really, really good Chris Paul. I'm going to stand by that. Chris Paul is a fantastic, fantastic player. And I think that um, if he's under 10k, he's a must-pick up for now. He can run almost any scenario. He's just a little bit small. Bill Lambeer, not really it. LeBron, get all, buy all of these cards anyway, just for limited. But Kenny Martin's okay. Harrison Barnes is not great. Zajun Sogeskis is really good. Best Sapphire center in the game. Westbrook, a three-pointer away from being very good. Derrick Rose, basically just his diamond. And LeBron James, very, very solid. Like a slightly worse Darius Miles. So overall, in terms of thumbs down, I'm probably going to... Buy all of these cards anyway. Um, Whether they're the master or the unmasked versions. Because if these guys are like 2, 3k, buy them. If they're more, leave them. Buy all these guys. These guys are going to be like this guy value anyway. Um, the Amethysts. I'm probably going to buy all the Amethysts anyway. Just to keep them in my collection. Um, I think CP3 is really the only good one there. I think two of these. Rose and LeBron are very good. I think CP3 is very good. Um, AK is very good. Jets very good. KD and Dolph are two of the best guys in the game. So yeah, that's pretty much it lads. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.